Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Cursor AI with GitLab. Cursor AI is a code editor that helps you to write code with the help of AI. So now, uh, in order to establish a connection between Cursor AI and GitLab, you must first install uh, Git. So I already have it in my system. Let me first open the Cursor AI tool. Let me just go to the terminal and I will type the command git dash dash version it is already already installed if it is not installed then what you need to do is just go to google search bar and type git and and you will go to downloads and then you will have to download for windows and then select this 64 since i have the 64 bit machine uh, so I'm not going to show you the installation process. So I have already installed it in my system. It's very simple. So what you're going to do next is just create a new repository. Go over here and I will create a new pro uh, repository, create blank project. And I will name this as um, my first project. And I will make this as public create project it has been created successfully the repository has been created now i will upload a file upload file and i will upload this one this is a csv file and then let me just add one more file in it uh, one file has been added let me just add one more file in it so go to the repository first and just go over here and upload file upload the sample underscore data set commit changes after that you will see you will have two files in your repository we are done now i'm going to have a uh, i will establish a connection so first i will go to cursor ai i will go to the uh, extension section and i will install gitlab workflow this is the extension that i need to install GitLab workflow. I have already installed it in my system. Uh, you just need to install it before moving forward. So I will just close the tab and I will go again in the uh, in the project section. And now what I need to do is just uh, use this command to to clone the repository. So I will go over here. I will go to the uh, to the repository. And over here, I will go and I will just copy the path of my repository. Clone with HTTPS, just copy and paste it over here. So this is going to be the name of, uh, this is going to be, this is the complete path of my repository. So all I need to do is just copy and paste the path over here and press enter. And you will see uh, it is doing something, yes. All the files have been cloned. HR dataset.csv, sample underscore dataset.csv, and then a readme file. So now what I need to do, I will do some changes in my HR dataset. Uh, let me just show you the repository. If you look at the HR dataset, I have the following columns like employee underscore ID, gender, etc. etc. So what I'm going to do is I will just change the column name. I will change the column name from employee underscore ID to EMP underscore ID. Let me just quickly do it. And let's see EMP ID underscore ID and I will save the file. Now this file is saved in my local directory, which is this one. Uh, it is located in my D directory. And let me just show you the uh, path over here. It is located over here. Now what I need to do is just go to the uh, go to this path, go to this source control section and I'm going to do uh, commit and push. So I will click commit and push and I will click yes and I will give the message initial commit and then I will click accept commit message. Save this message. Now it is doing something. It is performing the commit operation after that once it is done and dusted you will see the change in the file let me just go to the repository you will see the message initial commit 23 seconds ago and let me open the file again 
you will see the change in the file look file has been changed um, uh, to emp underscore id so i hope you have gone through the process of connecting a cursor ai tool to gitlab at the end i would request you to please subscribe like and share thank you and have a great learning